Welcome to our channel, uh, Shoot Fish Productions. If you haven't been before, um, welcome. And if you come back, thanks very much. Today's video is about um, this device on the top of this scope. So this isn't about the gun. I will go through a little bit about the gun a bit later. So basically, this is my own design. Uh, that's, that's not a particularly fantastic design, but from what I could see, there isn't one out there. They do a, a scoop mounted uh, Picatinny rail, but that's a bit longer. And on, on a lot of scoops, you haven't really got a lot of room. So this is basically uh, the device that clamps on top of the uh, scoop. That's a one inch one at the minute. If there's demand, I'd consider doing other sizes. Um, some things that I fit on scoops have a ring, like a converter ring, but I'd personally I'd probably make it made to fit. So that's made out of plastic. I've got a machine that makes stuff out of plastic. Uh, can't call it its proper name because uh, some people don't like it and <laughs> when you've got guns on the channel they don't like it even more uh, or only when you're talking about guns really so that's that's my design that's a, so this is a sort of standard action camera mountain that fit uh, all the branded cameras as well you know i.e. GoPro and all the others who make that type of thing uh, so basically for an action camera um, there's a bolt goes through there which you get with these camera kits and um, they have various mountain things but there isn't one exactly like this so this is basically one of these scoop mount things um, with the little um, action camera mount put on top so on top here we have got an action cam you, you just slacken the bolt off and that's quite a tight fit in there I must say and I like that so if you do forget to tighten it or you might want to leave it unscrewed you can, so you can move the angle regular or you can have it tightened up so I'll just Turn it around, so that's the screw on the back. Um, now that's fitted with these quality stainless steel little um, like Allen key head things. You need a two mil Allen key um, or hex key, whatever you want to call them. Uh, old fashioned, Daz, you call them something else, do you? What do you call them? What? Allen keys, Allens. Daz call them Allens. Allens? Yeah, Allen keys. No Allen keys. So this is called the Pro Scoop action camera mount um, it's available on the website shootfish.co.uk um, and at the minute they're in black if there's demand for other colours I will consider doing it um, and um, price is probably around a tenner uh, it's quite expensive but it is a quality not handmade product but it's my own design it's not R&D gone into it R and D that takes two odd hours to print then I've got to buy the stainless steel nuts and bolts I've got to make sure I make sure everything fits, we tighten all the bolts up, make sure the nuts pull in so they do because they're locking nuts as well make sure yeah, that, that guys is, that's like that one, make sure your nuts are pulled in the nuts always pull in before, yeah. before um, it just finished they've got Noilock little nuts on, um, really neat little nuts and bolts and so this is fitted with all them, uh, the scoop mounts uh, um, made with a plastic making machine as well so this is just a pattern action camera based on pretty much a lot of others. Well that's just a cheap Chinese one I got from Amazon. 25 quid, 4K apparently. Yeah. But, you know. but even the branded ones, the cases are pretty much similar. They're waterproof, yeah. weatherproof. Personally I wouldn't put one of these underwater but that'd be handy in the rain and stuff like that. Have you ever tried it underwater Daz? Yeah I have. And they, they work. Good? Yeah? Yeah wow. they do work. Okay so um, this is fitted on this Daisy 922. Um, I would, on the underwater thing I would say I wouldn't trust it pressing the buttons, but if you start it and then put it underwater, nothing's going to move, but I'm, I'm not too confident on the moving parts with right. the seals. Yeah, 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 I think you're right there, to be honest. Um, so anyway, so this, the, 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 the rifle scoop I've got this on is mounted on a Daisy power line 922. This, this is from about um, early 1980s. This is a 2.2 version, and they have this little pellet clip where you load up with pellets. And, and they also on the website? Well, I was then going to say, these often get lost. And when I, I bought this gun from an auction and um, the seals were gone, um, and I had it for years thinking that was just a little pod gun. I even done a video on it, I felt I wrote my graph and, made, <laughs> yeah. and I fixed it properly, and that was doing seven, eight foot pound. And then on the video, it was like one foot pound, and we were laughing at it. And I always thought that was like a kid's gun. Um, they sell a model now called the 880, which is a 177 version. And if that's as good as this, that, although it hasn't got a metal um, plate on there like this one, um, they don't make them like they used to. Um, why they stopped doing the 2 2, I don't know. Um, but these little clips often get lost and they are available on the website as well. 
you get a set, you get this five shot one, you get a single shot one, and you get a three lured one. So you just put it in there and you just drop the pellet in. Probably a bit awkward with a scoop on, I'd say. Um, so this is a pump action gun, 10 presses max. Now these older 922s had a brass compression tube, which would take a bit more stick than the modern ones, which are like a thin alloy. Um, and a common problem with them is, because the um, this washer sits there uncompressed for like, if you don't use them for a long time. What you, I get to the point you you either can't get much pressure in it like mine, or, or that won't pressure at all. Now, a lot of people think us um, the seals and the trigger mechanism and all not, and that's not. That's this right bottom seal. Um, it's called the, the plenum seal. Um, and someone came up with an idea of putting an O-ring in it, so that push it out a bit, just like a tapered thing. So, so when the pressure hit it, that press against the seal, and he'd done that, and that worked a treat. Uh, so I went one step further and made these special ones out of um, my plastic making machine, made out of rubber, and that fit the contour of the ring and that pushed down a bit better, make it a bit more stable, pressure all the way up the sides, and I've been using this gun ever since, I love it. That looked a bit like a kiddies gun, um, I was thinking about maybe making stuff in here out of a plastic making machine, because the pattern's already there. Make it look a bit more tactical. Yeah, maybe put some weaver rails on. Anyway, so I'm flapping my gums about that. <laughs> this video is really about this camera mount, because as far as I know, there's not one out there. They do do a, um, a weaver mount one, but then you've got to have another fitting, and that would make this right bulky. And you don't really want a lot of weight on your scoop, which is why these being made out of lightweight plastic is, is ideal. And the cameras are so light as well. Yeah, and and... If you wear of anything plastic like these, these scoop mounts, you might think, oh, you know, but I tell you what, these are really sturdy. And people think a plastic is weak and soft. They don't realise these things have got a, a structure inside that make them even stronger. So it's very hard wearing. Um, and I'm just going to put the camera on and then notice that one on that. Yeah, so um, Daz is going to move the camera around and I'm just going to have a shot at the um, target here just so you can see and then I'll add that clip I'll add that clip on um, at the end now obviously um, this is quite close so that's uh, gonna be blurred whatever whatever I do so it's a bit blurred uh, yes even worse with my glasses so how, how this gun operate you put the slide thing in if anyone's interested push that forward and that sort of push the pellet in um, and then the pump it and, uh, pump it real good. I'm just going to do four to start with, um, it's just a bit annoying for people watching. And uh, to be honest, Daz, I thought as well, if you mounted this camera the other way around, facing your face, so when you're air soft and yeah. stuff, and you've got a picture of your face, and uh, that'd be pretty good, wouldn't it? I'm sure people would find that appealing, because I would already, even on some of our videos when yeah. we do the shooting. Um, so I've got this on, I'm, uh, my eyes are shit, so I'm just going to, yeah, I'm just going to pop. The safety is a, a slide across thing, like, I'll be honest, I don't know how to use it. So here we go. Let's go for top, right top of the black target. What was it? Right high, was it? I can't even see where it went. I think that might have been low, mate. Low? So this is tuned for further distance. So if you're closer, have you got to aim high or low? Oh, you've got to hit, aim lower when you're closer. Right, okay, I'll aim right at the bottom then. Look at the... Oh, so that's, if, that's, that's shooting low then? If you aim there, yeah. you should probably hit the 8 or the 7. <coughs> right, turn it, move the camera towards, sort of behind the stairs if you want. So just do it. Let me just see. I still, oh, I didn't press record you the did, camera. Yeah. No, I just turned it on. Oh, right. Sorry. right, so I've now pressed record, so I can add this clip on end of the video. So I'll just do one shot, Daz, and then uh, move the camera around. Boom, told you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Kentucky Windage. Daz is good. It is Kentucky Windage. It's good at firing as well, obviously. So the four shots, I'll just go three, and then the short and distance so do you think you can get around here Dennis? maybe mm, maybe take the camera off and get a shot down there or should I just move this forward a bit and you can show it another thing you might have to do is if you've got a, a lens cap you'll have to move it to the side 
because that would flip up and block the camera obviously. Again you might be able to tilt the camera up and uh, yeah, just unclip that and bring it with you. We're still recording, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. yeah so um, see that? Just on the on the lens thing. So you know, as you're walking about and stopping, and getting camera footage, I'll take a shot and I'll put this on at the end of the video. There we go. Um, it's quite good, I like it though, it's um, even just walking around and like, you know, say so you're doing a stalking or airsoft and... So that's the ProScope cam mount, uh, it's gone on the website, shootfish.co.uk, probably around about £10 delivered. Um, I might put them on eBay if that's on there, that would be more. Might be an option with a set of scope mounts with it already integrated, possibly. So yeah, I might come up with further products, do a bit R&D and maybe have a... Uh, the bottom bit of the scoop mount, so if you've got a lot of room, can't fit it. But obviously that'll be made out of plastic. Um, and so that's it folks, um, I hope you liked it. It's not a groundbreaking invention, but I didn't see any out there. And I love it myself, I'm going to use it. Well, how many things have we come up with because they aren't out on the market? Yeah, yeah, the Pro Sale. Pro Sale. Um, I used to make these. TP700W yeah. um, custom kits. I am going to do that rubber ring, I'm going to offer it, the postage is just probably more than You're going to offer your ring? I'll offer my ring, or oh, I might chuck one in free with um, the pellet clips. Yeah. Because uh, they ain't selling like hotcakes and ain't many of these guns about, so um, if, we, if we can keep them working, it's customers yeah. for the future. Why not? So um, that will be coming very soon, again, on the website. Thanks for watching, um, this has been a bit pluggy, but I do think they're useful products that people in the shooting world would want. And if you've got any ideas for stuff you want, um, nothing too like flamboyant, but um, I might be interested. So thanks for watching. It's a goodbye from me. And goodbye from him. Thanks for watching.